The main function of a neon tester is to check the presence of electricity in a conductor, socket, or any electrical circuit under 450 volts. The metallic rod end is designed like the head of a flat screwdriver, so the neon tester also can be used to tightening or losing screws. You can see a neon tester has the following parts. Metallic rod. Resistor. Neon lamp. Spring. Metallic touch screw. Insulated transparent body. Metallic rod. That can conduct the electrical current from the phase or live conductor to the resistor. With an insulating plastic material for human safety. Resistor. The resistor is connected between the metallic rod and the neon lamp so it opposes the high current to flow through the neon lamp or human body to protect the human and the neon lamp. Generally, more than 2 mega ohm resistor is used in testers. Neon lamp. The neon lamp consists of a small glass capsule filled with a mixture of neon and other gas. It is connected between the resistor and the metallic spring. The neon lamp is to glow when we touch the tester with a live or phase conductor. It has no polarity like LED has. Spring. It helps to connect the neon lamp with the metallic touch screw. Metallic touch screw. It helps to make contact between the human body and the tester circuit. It also helps to hold the side clamp used to hold the tester when we keep it in our pockets. Insulation transparent body. All these components are covered in a transparent insulated body which made of plastic and transparent property helps to see if the lamp glows or not. Electrical neon tester working principle. The working principle of a neon tester is very simple. When we touch its metallic rod head to a live or phase conductor and the metallic touch screw with our body, a voltage will be applied across the neon lamp and it will glow to indicate the presence of the electricity on that conductor. A neon lamp required only voltage to glow a little bit, so a check only president of voltage not current. Minimum voltage of 9 to 15 volts, neon tester can work properly above 100 volts or even above 230 volts. Generally, neon testers are designed for 230 volt circuits. So don't go to check high voltage circuits with a neon tester.